Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder, and on today's video, we are talking about how we increase the air tightness of a 161-year-old stone home by 60%. <laughs> The original blower door test for this house came in at about 11.8 ACH, which stands for air changes per hour. That is really bad. You're wondering, you know, what does that mean? Well, an Energy Star home, which is, you know, 20% better than minimum building code here in Ontario, the requirement for the blower door test is 2.5. If you get into R2000, net zero, you're going for 1.51. If you go into Passive House, you're going for 0.6 ACH. So a big difference from 0.6 to 11.8. On this house, the pre-drywall blower door test, we got it down to 4.8. Still not fantastic, but 60% better than where we're at. And the most important thing I need to note is that we actually didn't do anything to the basement in this house. And that's where the majority of our air leakage is coming. It probably will be done. It's just not in the budget for the clients at this point. So we focus on all the rest of the house, but it can easily be done at any point because obviously it's a crawl space and it's not finished. So at any point they can add that onto their list and improve the air tightness even more. So I'm excited about that. In either case, what we did for this particular home is we had to think about how moisture travels through the wall. So one of the reasons why these homes last so long is because of all the heat loss. Because in the winter, the water that gets into the stone can dry. So you need to be able to allow air or moisture to flow, sorry, not air, moisture to, to permeate through that wall if need be in either direction. So what we did was a liquid applied air barrier on the inside, which is permeable, and it allows vapor to travel through it if need be, but it is an airtight product. So on the main walls, we had this liquid applied air barrier, and then we connected that into some uh, VP160 uh, flashing around the windows, and then we have the Intello Plus on the ceilings where that'll be our air barrier. We're gonna be using that for vapor barrier as well, but keep in mind, we're talking air barrier here, not vapor barrier. Can they be the same thing? Yes, but they're not always the same thing. So the most important thing to consider when you're doing a home like this is making sure that you understand the building science and how the building will interact under the new conditions. So we're adding an air barrier, we're making the building more airtight. We're adding more insulation. In this case, we're, we're not adding a whole lot, but we're adding two layers of R14. So we're gonna have R28 on the inside of the stone wall. Once again, we're not doing anything to the basement. So it's more than a lot of houses, but less than a lot of the houses that we build. Uh, but now by doing this, it's changing how that stone interacts, right? Like I said before, one of the reasons the stone lasts us so long is because it has all this heat loss and, and vapor can travel through it freely. We still want to allow that. And by using the liquid applied air barrier and this rock wall bat insulation that will allow the vapor to travel through it in whichever direction it wants to. If we were to use something like a closed cell spray foam, it wouldn't be able to travel in. It would only be able to travel out. And what would happen likely is that in the winter when there's, we have a lot of freeze thaw cycles now, if water gets into that stone, it won't be able to be dried from the inside, from all that heat loss from the inside, or it won't be able to be driven in through the wall to, to, for that vapor to go through. What's gonna happen is it's gonna get stuck in that stone, it's gonna freeze, and eventually it's going to crack and, and start to wreck the mortar joints and wreck the stone over time. So this is a 161 year old building. We want to maintain that. We did do some masonry repairs as well. There was some water management issues, which is also important, which we're not gonna get into here, but these are all things that you need to consider. If you add insulation, if you improve the air tightness of your home, you need to understand how your wall assembly will react to that. You need to understand how your entire home is going to react to that because you could actually be creating a worse condition than what you had previously. Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder and this week I'm super excited because we are launching our first official course on The Conscious Builder Academy called Increasing Profits, The Bottom Line. These are the systems that we created in order to increase our bottom line by over 30K per month and you get to have access to those now and if you register before June 18th, you get to have access to all of our future courses before everybody else. You become a VIP founding member. So be sure to head to ConsciousBuilderAcademy.com and register. And remember to live consciously.